Hey everybody, my name is Anthony Salvatore and I'm going to be showing you today how to combine Frac Pro's multiple wellbore functionality along with Frac Pro AI as well as um, the advanced stage functionality which will allow you with the click of a button um, to stop data act, rename the DBS, um, start data act, swap well bores so you don't have to close and open up a new IMP, connect to the well and AI and begin streaming. This all happens in under a second. So if you're doing um, really quick well swaps, this will minimize the amount of operations done between well swaps. So I'm gonna start with my multiple well bore um, IMP file. As you can see, I have a two, two well pad. I have well number one selected and stage number one. I'm gonna to come to Data Act and I've got it configured to emulate. Um, you may be running serial or TCP in the field. And I'm gonna name the file. I'm gonna browse for the location and I've already got the folder here. Um, so DBS files and I'm gonna name the file well name and stage one. And that's gonna be the first well you go to and then stage one. And you'll see where that comes into play here shortly. So once I do that, I'm gonna hit start to begin acquisition. And now I am bringing in data into Frac Pro. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to hit connect to AI. I'm going to um, authenticate myself into the application, connect to the well. That's going to allow me to start streaming to AI. And then from there, I'm going to open up my plot. So I've already got one here. And I'm also gonna bring up F10. And you'll, again, you'll see where that comes into play here shortly. So, okay, I'm running the job in Frac Pro. Um, you, you can do everything that you would normally do, run the model, all that stuff. Um, and, and I'm using the advanced staging button. So we'll go ahead and uh, move, move our, our data or our steps, start running the model. Frag Pro will begin to calculate the model and it'll auto stage by clean stage total in this case. Um, you may use time or, or volume or even a step number as a variable, but this is what I'm using. And as the job progresses, um, we're going to get close to the end. And let's just say the, um, the job has ended. Um, I can come here and click advanced stage. And that's going to pop up a new new um, screen for you where um, if your well in stage order is selected, it'll auto configure in this case, well number two, stage number one. I'm gonna hit okay. And that's where that order of operations are going to occur. We're gonna disconnect from the well, um, swap well bores, stop data ACK, rename the DBS file, um, start data ACK, and as you could see here, um, and then reconnect to, to the well in AI and begin streaming to AI. And as you could see here in my uh, file explorer, it auto cut a DBS file for the current stage. In this case, um, well number two, stage number one. And let's just say we're gonna do it again. So we'll hit advanced stage and it'll go to the next well in the order. In this case, 1H stage two, click okay. And it's going to do all that again. Disconnect from well, um, stop, D, stop the DBS, um, create a new DBS file, in this case 1H stage 2, um, swap well bores in Frac Pro, and then um, swap stages, and then connect to AI all within under a second. There's a small lag on my machine because I'm running a video recording software, but um, you'll see when running. Um, this in under normal conditions that you won't have that lag. But with that, that's the um, combo of the multiple wellbore functionality with connecting to AI, as well as our advanced stage functionality. Um, a disclaimer that um, should have been mentioned is this feature only works when connected to AI in the well right now. Um, we'll be rolling out a fix in a subsequent version that will allow users to perform this same functionality without connecting to AI. If you have any questions, um, drop a comment below or um, hit us up at support at fracpro.com. I'll also leave um, the link for that below. Thanks and have a great day.